We seem to finally have a Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, who is not only speaking out against the grooming scandal without the fear of any political backlash, but is actually tackling the issue, unlike her predecessors. What a sad world we're living in that when you have finally a politician who's actually not only saying the right things, but actually doing the right things, we have to be impressed. Things have been so grim and bad and low over the last few years, few decades really, a couple of decades, with the standards or low standards of our politicians and the political class, that when you now have Suella Bravman doing something about the problems of our country, we get excited. Now, I don't want to come across as completely a cheerleader for politicians like Suella, because I'm, I will still criticize them, I will still hold them to account, but when they are currently doing the right things, I will praise them. We have to be objective about that. And also, always say, we have to be cautious, we have to make sure they get it done before we celebrate. But so far, so good, because we had Sajid Javid. Do you remember Sajid Javid when he was Home Secretary? He came out a couple of times, he mentioned, yeah, we have to look into the grooming scandals. He was still very politically correct about it, he was very polite and sensitive. He even said, we're going to wait for the, the report to come out. Do you remember the report, the investigation into the, the scandal? Then they didn't publish the report took such a long time for this to become a thing. Even Priti Patel said some good things about it, but didn't really do anything about it. Now Suella is not only finally speaking out without any fear of this woke backlash, but she's actually uh, tackling the issue. They are going around, they've been arresting uh, dozens and dozens of uh, these groomers and many others, and the, the, the gangs, the rings in general, and they are doing the right thing. So let's go to what she said on uh, Sky News. What's clear is that what we've seen is a practice whereby uh, vulnerable white English girls, um, sometimes in care, sometimes who are in mm. uh, challenging circumstances, being uh, pursued and raped yep. and drugged and harmed by gangs of uh, British Pakistani men who've worked in child abuse rings or networks. This is it. We never had it before. Again, it's so bad and sad to say it's so impressive that a politician is talking about the two things. One is that the majority of basically the, 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 the victims happen to be the white English girls. And secondly, British Pakistanis. Say it. Say where they're from. Say the background. They never did in the past. We've seen institutions and state agencies, whether it's social workers, teachers, the police, uh, turn a blind eye to these, uh, to these signs of abuse out of political correctness, out yep. of fear of being called racist, out of fear of being called bigoted. And as a result, thousands, we're not talking small numbers, we're talking yep. a large number, thousands of children have had their childhoods robbed and devastated. That. And there are many of these perpetrators still running wild, behaving mm. in this way. And it's now down to the authorities to track these perpetrators down without fear or favor, relentlessly, and bring them to justice. Yeah, spot on, Home Secretary. The thing is, obviously, we still would be criticizing Suella on various other policies and uh, the, the, the risky moves that she's making, uh, especially when it comes to the illegal migration with all the barges and all the military bases uh, that are not being used, obviously. Uh, that she's uh, moving some of the migrants to that. There's been some controversies around that. And we're waiting for the Rwanda plan to start, which will be early summer. But everything else on this issue, she's actually, she's not just preaching, she's actually acting on it, which is good. She's not just talking the good game. So why is it that we have to wait for such a long time to have something like this to happen? What happened to all the promises that Boris Johnson made as Prime Minister and... Priti Patel. Priti Patel, she was chosen her as Home Secretary at the time under Boris because she was supposed to be the face of conservatism. She was supposed to be the face of law and order. And, but she became a bit of a wet lettuce. She couldn't stand up to the establishment. She couldn't stand up to her own civil servants. And the, the witch hunt against her was successful. She was defeated. And she, we ended up criticizing her because she let us down. Now, despite the fact that she might, if she were here, she would say, I really wanted to get it done, I just couldn't. But that means you're just not good enough, pretty. Even if you meant well. This is not really personal. It's just about politics. 
And I would say the exact same thing if Suella Braverman fails in the future. But I really hope that she does well. I really hope she succeeds for the good of the country. Doesn't really matter if we are Tories or not. I want the Home Secretary to do well. I want the government to do the right things. You know, I don't want to just criticize the Tories for the sake of it. I want the government to do well so that it will be good for the country. Now, hopefully they'll wake up at some point, but <laughs> I'm just not really optimistic. Anyway, we'll see how things go. Amaya Tusi and we are the media.